It's been four days since this earth-shattering event struck in Morocco, and the death toll continues to climb, now exceeding 2,600 lives lost, with an equal number of injuries. In the wake of this devastating seismic catastrophe, communities find themselves grappling with the harsh food and water shortages and the dire need for shelter. In a Mizmiz village, survivors have sought refuge in rescue camp stands designed for a maximum of 12 people, as their home were either reduced to rubble or deemed too unsafe to inhabit. All we need is bread. They are now setting up a place to prepare bread, water and electricity. A mizmiz is suffering, no bread and no electricity and water. People are suffering and aid is late. Some are stuck in roads, some lack food and shelter. We are 12 or 13 in the tent, including kids and parents. The situation is dire. One villager, Mohammed Ushan, recounts his nightmarish experience on the fateful night. While he emerged from Friday's quake with his life, he lost his home. But Mohammed didn't stand idly by. He used his bare hands to dig through the debris, searching for neighbors buried beneath the ruins in the immediate aftermath of the quake. I heard people screaming as they were dying, please pull us out. After I managed to leave, I rushed to save people. I heard my sister screaming, brother, brother, save us. I rescued her, her son, and her husband. We were busy rescuing because we didn't have tools. We used our hands. We kept digging by hand. The abysmal conditions faced by those affected cast a dark shadow over Moroccan earthquake survivors, threatening to become the worst human tragedy in over a century. This grim reality is compounded by the fact that many of these resilient individuals reside in remote areas that have endured poverty and isolation for decades.